Hello and welcome, I'm drawing my favourite YouTubers and up next is Philip DeFranco. So, if you don't know who Philip DeFranco is, he does the news, but not like normal news broadcaster, you know, your standard, uh, what do you call them, um, traditional media, I guess. Philip DeFranco is actually on YouTube and he runs his own show with his own team. And he tells the news so much better than regular media outlets can. He doesn't take any shit and he just tells it like it is. And he puts it all in his own words. And yes, he does swear. And when he's reporting on people that are absolute rubbish, he lets you know that he thinks they're absolute rubbish. But um, he does actually give quite a balanced view, I think. Um, I don't know. He talks very fast and I really like the way he delivers the news. It's very quick. They're usually around 15 minutes and it ranges things like all over the world, you know, all sorts of like main media news. But he also does focus on um, celebrities and YouTubers and just things that are sort of in the pop culture world as well. And yeah, I like it. He's got a very unique style. He starts his videos always the same way. And if you follow Phil, then you know what I mean. So as well as doing his newscast story uh, every day, and I think he does some extra ones as well, he also has a vlog channel and his whole team gets in on it and you just see behind the scenes and they have a lot of fun together and it just looks like a really cool office environment that you'd love to work in. It, it really does look like good fun. Um, they do lots of other bits and pieces, they're branching out a lot, they're always sort of coming up with new ideas, especially since the apocalypse hit YouTube. Uh, they definitely uh, branched out a bit um, and he's got this DeFranco Elite thing. I don't know anything about it. I'm not part of it so I can't really comment on that but, but yeah, I like his channel. I watch it and yeah. So this is my picture of uh, Philly D. Um, <laughs> now turning to the artwork, um, it's not really the best one I've ever done. Uh, I think I did kind of rush it a little bit but I feel like I'm kind of getting a bit faster at being able to draw people and draw faces. Although I am also just doing front on views which is obviously the easiest way to draw a face but gosh I tell you what drawing his hair was a pain in the butt. Phil your hair is a pain in the butt to draw. All those spikes oh my god. <laughs> I did the best I could and uh, I think it turned out okay but yeah I don't want to be repeating that. And I probably could have given him eyelashes on his lower lid. I'm not really sure how to draw guys without making them look like girls. So, um, I don't know. He might look a little bit effeminate in this picture, but I think it came out okay. And I'm kind of happy with it. And the writing behind him, I just put sup, because he always starts his words with sup, you beautiful bastards, as in what's up. So, um, in case you didn't get that, that was my overly long explanation. Anyway. This is my picture of Philip DeFranco and I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. There is a playlist in the description where you can see all the other videos of the YouTubers that I've drawn and uh, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.